And welcome back on Take Action News with David Schuster. This is Daniel Marins on this Saturday, March 30th. Every week we have a segment called our Activist of the Week segment in which we celebrate one of the unsung heroes in this country who is trying to change the world and doing their part. This week joining us is the author and advocate Casey Boyd. Casey is the author of the, the book Being Christian, a novel, and she's been an advocate and exposer of religious coercion in the United States military and specifically dominionist Christian coercion. We are using Casey's, Casey uses a pseudonym and we are not showing a picture because Casey has faced personal threats. Casey, thank you so much for joining us on Take Action News. Thank you for having me and for the great honor. I, I, I mean a lot. Well, it, it's our pleasure. And you can follow Casey on Twitter at, at KCBoyd3. That's at KCBoyd3. So, Casey, what is Dominionist Christianity, and how is it being forced on students at, let's say, the United States Air Force Academy? Well, Dominionist Christianity is is taking a strain of the born again evangelical Christianity and taking it uh, quite a step further. Really, what's going on here is these are people who um, want to take dominion of over pretty much everything that's in our our everyday life: government, education, business, media. Um, there, there are something called the seven mountains of dominionism, and it's 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 very much like what say the Taliban would would be doing in in uh, Afghanistan, where uh, if they can get people into positions of power, they can start to change uh, behavior, start to change law. I think one thing most people don't think about is how many dominionists are already sitting in positions of power, be it on local school boards, city councils, state government, which right now is terribly, terribly important. In fact, I I think the focus is at the state level right now. And then, of course, it goes all the way up to the Congress. And we we saw um, great examples of that in last year's Republican primaries. And that would be Michelle Bachman. Is that someone? Well, who... it was. It was really quite a few of them. It, clearly, uh, Romney was was bowing to these people. I don't think he believes in, in some of this nonsense. And I do call it nonsense because it, it's mythical kind of uh, nonsense. But um, Herman Cain, you've got Newt Gingrich. All these people were were really um, towing a very hard line, um, right wing Christian line. And, you know, I think, I think it started coming out with Sarah Palin. Now, she's one of the worst. She's, she's, her agenda is uh, very strict and very um, dominionist. Uh, 